So friends, let's see how we can install test ng to Eclipse and create few test cases and how we can run it. So by default Eclipse don't have test ng. How we can verify this particular thing? Let's go ahead into the preferences. You can see there is no test ng added. You can check this particular things in show view as well. Here test ng is not added and if you go even into the others so you can see test ng is not added this means that we need to install test ng so go to the help eclipse marketplace of your eclipse you need to put the software which you want to install as a plugin or add-on to the eclipse over here so we are going to put uh, test ng over here once this processing is done okay so now we can go ahead and put the test engine let's click on the go button to search it okay so you can see <coughs> install option if test engine is already installed you will get an installed option so now since we have install option this means that my clips don't have test engine let's go ahead and install it okay I just clicked on the install now now this particular uh, process will connect to this particular website and try to download all the content which are related to the Eclipse and it will be added as a add-on. So adding the add-on to the Eclipse and adding the library as a jar is altogether a different thing. Here we are adding the add-on so that some feature or behavior additionally available with the help of test ng into the eclipse so you can see now this is test ng and this is a maven integration along with the test ng so we need test ng as a compulsory option but i will go ahead and install this second option as well i accept it finish so now it's downloading all the software it, which are required on Eclipse to add as a plugin or add-on. It, it generally takes a couple of minutes to download it and configure it. After that, uh, Eclipse will ask us to restart it and uh, then we can see the actual effect of testing the add-on into the Eclipse. Okay, it's still downloading. Okay, so it, you want to continue with the installation? Yes, okay. Okay, so you can see you will need to restart the Eclipse for the changes to take effect. Yes, let's go ahead and restart your Eclipse. <coughs> okay so now your eclipse has been restarted let's check if test ng is available in your preferences so i can see now test ng is available so seems like test ng has been installed but let's check uh, by some creating some uh, test cases into a particular test project let's create one new project so the project name will be like uh, test automation so here I'm just creating a Java project okay in this Java project I can see the SRC folder where I will create one package maybe b6 and I will create one class that is test automation feature okay so this might be my uh, test class so how I can write the code which will be executed by test ng so we need to go ahead with public void test method or test login fine 
so this will be your test method this test method will contain some code uh, for example it's maybe a api automation code web services automation code or selenium code so currently i am just putting some dummy statement okay maybe selenium script now this this is done for to run this particular class we need a main method if we are running it as a java program but this is we don't want to run it as a java program so we want to configure this particular test with the test ng so let's add the annotation provided by test ng so before adding the annotation we need to add the test ng library to this particular project and then you can go ahead and add the test ng annotation so then you can see the test ng annotation has been added now i will just copy paste this particular method and i will write maybe login logout so this might be your selenium script 2 now i want to run this particular scripts or methods or test with the help of test engine so i will right click run as so initially we must have seen we run as a java server now we are going to run it as a test ng test let's run it okay so you can see now you can see okay so my test login and test logout these two test cases are passed in console i can see the consolidated result as well now our eclipse is properly configured with the test ng and it is in working condition this is how we can integrate and run our automation with the help of test ng thank you guys